Hey everyone, in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to add a softness to this picture that makes it look more like it was shot with a Pro Mist filter, one, two, three, or four. Now if you're not familiar with that, what that basically is, is a filter that was screwed on to the front of your camera lens that actually made the picture look a little bit softer and it gives it a little bit more of a portrait look, an old time portrait look. So that's what I'm gonna go over today. Now there's a lot of different ways that you can do this. This way works really well and it's really easy to do. So I wanted to show you that. So the first thing that I would do is go and create a new layer. So layer, new, copy. Okay, if we look over here, we see that we just made a new layer, okay? This way here, we're gonna do everything to that top layer, okay? So now what I wanna do is go to Filter, and I wanna to go to Blur, and I wanna to go to Gaussian Blur. Now if you look in the preview window, you can just click on it and almost automatically see what it's doing. Let me click in on that. See, if, I hold it, if I'm, I'm holding my mouse down right now, and you can see that it's, it's the way the picture was originally. If I let go, it shows the effect applied on or off on okay now that's only with a radius of one I can bring that like that and we can totally uh, make it very very blurry and soft almost too much so I'm gonna bring it back to one just to demonstrate this it's a lot of different neat things you can do with this uh, filter we'll leave it right there so now I'm gonna hit OK and now if we look at the picture you can see that it's softer, right? Let me just turn it on and off. There's, right there is off, on. Let me zoom in on that again real quick just so I can demonstrate that. That's on, that's off. It might be hard to, to see that in this, in this video. Let me zoom back out and let me okay so now I gotta redo what I did I just undid it okay there we go so now we've got this this nice soft filter now the beauty of having it on its own its own layer is I can adjust the opacity over here so I can turn this up and down to adjust the effect so let's really add this effect too much almost let's really bring this radius up and now if I say okay and then I can go over here and I can go ahead and bring this down and then you can start to see that effect really coming through it really softens things out so now you might be saying yeah but the eyes look blurry and the nose and all that stuff it's not a problem then what we can do you see how that looks right there it's it's really soft almost the white almost almost looks like the edge is almost blurred out where the light kind of dispersed off of it that's really what the pro mist filter did the problem with the pro mist is you couldn't do what i'm going to show you next with the pro mist filter that you shot because it was embedded in the picture you know in the film or the digital file if you use that that filter so if i zoom in here Actually, let me bring the picture closer this way. It might look better in the video. Yeah, there we go. See how the white is nice and it's really soft all the way around. Even the skin is really soft. Now, if I turn that off, look it. That's the original. Real sharp, which is fine. But if you add that, look at the softness that we just added to that picture. So now what I would do, and we only have that at 49% on that layer, I go here to the eraser tool right here. And I go up here, set my percentage down. Now you can do this manually or you can hit your bracket key, whatever you want to do. If I hit my bracket key, it'll bring it down. And then my opacity is at like 32, and that's probably pretty good. And then I can just go over the eyes. And just keep clicking until I see the sharpness that I want. I just brought the eyes back. So see, you never would be able to do what I'm doing right now with the Pro Mist. It's just not even possible. The other thing I want to mention is make sure you have a soft edge brush. 
you know, one of, one of these here with a softer edge is going to make it nice because that way you're not going to see any harsh lines when you're erasing that. So the same thing is here with the nose. I, will, I would do the nose just a little bit and maybe in here on the lips, just a little. And by bringing this opacity down up here, you're not erasing 100% of that layer. So now let me show you over here. Now, if I take this off, you can see there's only a little bit of that showing through. It's over top of that layer. So let me bring this back over here. And now what I want to do is I want to show you that. Now look at the eyes and look at the, the whites, how they're really soft. Now you might say, well, maybe it looks too much, too heavy. That's fine. Now we can just go over here to the opacity on that layer that we used and I can bring that down to my liking. You might want to go with something like that. Now if I turn that off, there's the original and there's the new. Let's bring that up really close. I'm going to bring over the image so you can see it in this camera view. There's off and there's on. So it's a real simple way to add a nice softness to your picture but not lose the clarity on the eyes and the features of the face. And this goes for anything. If there's other parts of the picture you want to sharpen, just go ahead and erase this part of that layer. Now you've done nothing to harm that picture. The picture underneath right here in this background layer is still the same as the original. We just created a duplicate layer and made our adjustments to that. So I hope this shows you the power of being able to use this softness to make your pictures look more like a professional portrait and uh, be able to do it without having to put one of those ProMist filters on the front of your camera. So that's it. That's going to wrap up this video. Oh yeah, and by the way, when you're done, again, always hit Layer, Flatten Image, save it as a different file name. That, that way you don't ever overwrite the original. So just File, Save As, and then save it as uh, another name other than the original. So that's it. That's going to wrap up this video. Talk to you later.